Well, when you're a forward and you come into a new club... Ozil looking to steer it through. Aubameyang, that's a brilliant goal. What a moment for him on his debut for his new club. Trying to find an opening on this camp. A great chance to go in front. And they have done. Aubameyang, he's done it. Well, it's all downhill from here, isn't it? Two goals on his debut. He won't forget today. Goretzka, Lukaku, the shot's off, oh, a brilliant goal, sent through by Ersin, and he goes for the chip, he's got it behind and he's put it away, Aubameyang, well with his pace, the end was never in doubt, Ersin, got his shot off now, well he really hit that hard and true, from the Lukaku, he gets pulled back in, Yo guys, what is going on? It is Mr. DGM here, back again for you guys, another FIFA 19 video. So you're sitting there thinking, I've got all these coins to spend on a BPL striker and you just don't know who to pick. The 87 Aubameyang or the 87 Lukaku. So if that's you, don't worry, I've got just the video for you because today we are going to be reviewing the 87 Aubameyang and the 87 Lukaku and putting them head to head to decide who is the better buy on FIFA 19 Ultimate Team. So what we're going to do is we're going to split it into the five key components to determine what makes the best buy on FIFA 19 Ultimate Team. So key component number one, stats. Pretty obvious really, just how well the stats suggest they're going to play in game. Key component number two, we've got valuation, just how much they cost on the market. Key component number three, we've got linkability. So how easy is it for them to link it into good squads and get them into hybrids and around some of the best players on the game. Key component number four, how they play in game. Sometimes players play better or they even play worse than what their stats actually suggest. And then we've got key component number five, versatility, just what positions can they play on the pitch. So we're going to get straight into this guy. So we're going to start off with the 87 rated Aubameyang. So of course this guy does play for Arsenal and he's from Gabon. He's got 94 pace, 84 shooting, 75 passing, 80 dribbling with 37 defending and 70 physicality. 6 foot 2 medium to low work rate, 4 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves. Now I actually had his loan card but he costs around about 270k to 280k on the market considerably more than Romelu Lukaku. I played a total of five matches with this guy and he got eight goals in the five matches. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pick out a few of this guy's key stats. Now this first stat that stands out, he's got 95 sprint speed with 93 acceleration. This guy is lightning quick on this game. He has got 89 attacking positioning and 87 finishing. This guy's movement in general is world class in my opinion. He's got the attacking position, he's got the movement to get in behind and when he gets the opportunity, he is very clinical in front of goal. So we're moving on to Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang's link ability now. And uh, for me, this guy, he's got a bit of good, he's got a bit of bad. Let's start off with the good. He does play in the Premier League and he does play for Arsenal. I think there's a few good players for Arsenal. The likes of Lacazette is a very overpowered strike on this game. Mkhitaryan as well that he gets, of course, a green link to. But he is from Gabon and let's be honest, there is no other good footballers on FIFA that play for Gabon. So you're not going to get any links in terms of his nation. So in terms of linkability, as I say, he's got a bit of good, he's got a bit of bad. But in terms of comparing him to Lukaku, I definitely feel Lukaku has got the upper hand over him in that department. So how does Aubameyang play in game? Does he live up to his 87 rating and does he live up to the amount of coins he costs on the market? Now, for me, Aubameyang kind of does what he says on the tin. He's just a striker that's going to get in behind and score you goals. And he does that absolutely incredibly, to be fair to him. He is one of the best, if not the best strikers, at getting in behind and scoring goals. So, in terms of his 87 rating, I think this guy does play like an 87 rated striker. There's no doubt about it in my mind. Is he worth around about 270k on the market? I would go as far to say is yes, I think he's probably worth paying the coins because he is a world-class striker in my opinion. So finally we've got versatility. What positions can Aubameyang play? Now I feel he can play around about two, maybe three positions. 
He's a specialist playing in a striker, in particular in a two striker system. I think he works really well having a slightly more physical and powerful striker playing alongside him. Someone like a Romelu Lukaku, for example, uh, that I think that works really well. I feel he could also play as a left winger as he has for Arsenal in real life. He's played on the left hand side while Lacazette has played as a striker. I feel he can play that role, but for me, I would definitely want this man up front being your main striker. So moving on now to the 87 rated Romelu Lukaku, of course, plays for Manchester United and he's from Belgium. He's got 84 pace, 84 shooting, 76 passing, 75 dribbling with 35 defending, 87 physicality. Aubameyang actually wins 3-2 on the stats. Now Lukaku is 6 foot 3 with medium to medium work rate, left footed with 4 star weak foot and 3 star skill moves. I actually bought him for 170k, but he does cost a lot more than that now. He costs around about 200 to maybe 210k, but is around about 70k cheaper than a Bamiang, which is very nice. So we are going to pick out a few of Lukaku's key stats. Now he has actually got 90 sprint speed in game. Once this guy eventually gets going, he is very fast on this game. He's got 94 strength. I mean, this guy's physicality is absolutely incredible on this game. There's no way you're going to push this guy off the ball. He has also got 89 attacking positioning with 88 finishing, which is very impressive. So I would say Lukaku's stats are a little bit more complete than Aubameyang. So we're moving on to Romelu Lukaku's link ability. Now this guy has got a really good link ability in terms of the league and the nation. Of course, being in the BPL, I would say, in my opinion, that is the best league to be in on FIFA 19. And um, being from Belgium, I would say it's probably the second best nation to be from. I think France is the only nation that would probably beat Belgium in terms of linkability, of course, because Lukaku could link to someone like Idris Mertens and Nolan Golan, and you could get a good Serie A BPL hybrid going on with having Lukaku in your team. So in terms of linkability, I think hands down, Romelu Lukaku beats Aubameyang, there's no doubt about it. So how does Romelu Lukaku play in game? Does he live up to his 87 rating and does he live up to the amount of coins he costs on the market. Now, I think this guy definitely plays like an 87 rated striker. I think he's a bit more of a complete striker than a Bamiang. And uh, in terms of value for money, around about 200K, I actually think that's really good value for money. I don't think you're gonna find many better players on the game in terms of value for money in that price range. In my opinion, Romelu Lukaku is a bit more of a complete striker than a Bamiang. I feel he can definitely play that lone striker role. If you're looking for just one striker to play up top by himself, maybe in like a 4-2-3-1 formation or something like that, I definitely feel Lukaku would be the better option in terms of he's got the physicality to hold the baller and let other players into the game. So for that reason, I feel Lukaku is probably the better option to go if you're looking for a lone striker. Now finally, we're moving on to versatility. So what positions can Lukaku play in-game? Now I would say Lukaku is quite a one-dimensional player. In my opinion, I would only want to use him as a striker. I mean, at a push, you could put him maybe out on one of the wings, but I would say he's definitely wasted in that position. So for me, I would say Lukaku's best position and his only position really is as a striker so i'm going to summarize for you guys now and tell you who i think is the better guy between romelu lukaku and pierre emerick Aubameyang. this one is a very difficult one for me to decide this is what it comes down to for me i think Aubameyang is a specialist in getting in behind and scoring goals i think if you want a striker that's just going to get you in behind and score your goals definitely go over Aubameyang. I think Lukaku's a bit more of a complete striker. I wouldn't say he's as much as a specialist as a Bamiang, but in terms of scoring goals, I would say they're pretty even. And I think Lukaku can offer you a bit more in terms of bringing others into play and using his strength really to bully defenders. So overall for me, I think Romelu Lukaku is the better buy on the basis that I think he's got better link ability. He's slightly cheaper on the market. He's a bit more of a complete striker. So for all those reasons, I think Lukaku is the better buy on FIFA 19. But I'm really interested to see what you guys say. I am going to be running a poll on it so you can decide who is the better buy. I'll be very interested to see what you guys say on that. That is just going to be about it from me for today though guys, so what I want you guys to do is put in the comments below some players that you want me to do player reviews and put them head to head in the comments below, I would hugely appreciate that. Make sure you guys drop a like on this video if you have enjoyed it and feel free to subscribe, but that is just going to be about it from me for today guys, so I will catch you in the next video.